All right, in this video, I wanna take a few moments to talk about what is APY, or your annual percent yield. And this is the formula for it. Uh, in the next video, I'll talk about how to derive this formula. But right now, um, I'm focused mostly on what is the concept of APY. Um, and, and then we'll be able to derive this formula once you understand the concept. So uh, annual percent yield tends to be uh, reported to, uh, by banks. Banks like to report uh, what their annual percent yield is for different savings account. And the reason that they like to report that is because they compound their interest. So instead of telling you what the simple interest rate is or R, um, because they're using compounding, they would prefer to tell you the APY, which is basically like how much you're gonna earn with compounding, okay? So let me uh, kind of, let me talk through this with an example. Uh, in a previous video, we made the, these two tables. I'll provide the link to that video and the complete playlist um, where I'm building up to how to calculate your uh, interest payment in your bank um, in the description of this video, okay? So uh, in, 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 this, in this previous video, when we, um, we basically calculated what, uh, how much interest we would earn if we use simple interest, so just as a reminder, we started off with $100. We earned 6% interest, and then we were given our month our money once a month, okay? So um, we would earn uh, only 0.06 uh, divided by 12. We would earn that much interest per month, okay? And then we um, calculated how much we would have at the end of the year. So in the simple interest world, um, you had that $100, and then you have this 0 0.06 divided by 12, um, because the interest, the annual interest is gonna be divided 12 times. So you earn, oops, um, you earn basically 50 cents every month until at the end of, um, at the end of those th that year, you have $106, okay? So actually, let me go ahead and sum up let me sum this column here. And so I have $6 at the end of a year, okay? And um, I could have calculated this um, easily by taking my principal and then basically multiplying it by, oops, not, uh, so I have P times R, right? So my principal times that annual interest rate and I would have 100 times 0 0.06, and I would have gotten $6. So that makes sense, right? Um, APY is basically trying to replicate that, you know, this making sense, this, this intuitive type uh, calculation. Um, they're trying to replicate that for compound interest. So in the compound interest world, um, we start off with the exact same equation, we have the principal, and then multiply that by our um, our interest, right, for just one month. So you take your interest and you divide it by 12. And then uh, for the next month though, instead of building on the principal, you're building on the previous month's uh, balance, okay? So we take the previous month and then we add on, we get some additional interest. Okay, so in this world, if I were to take the sum of how much interest I would have earned, what I wanna do is I wanna figure out, so my principal times APY will give me this $6 and some odd cents, and well, 17 cents it looks like, okay? That's what, that's what I'm looking for. That's what APY is, right? So APY, is the percent change in your account with, when you have compounding, okay? So let me write that down. APY is your rate, oops, rate of return with compounding, okay? All right, and so generally, the way that we calculate rates of return is we would take the amount that we have at the end, 
and then subtract off the amount that we started with, all right, and then divide that by the amount that we started with. That's generally how you calculate like a, a percent change or in this case, or, you know, the, the rate that we've changed. Um, so let's, let's actually, let's calculate that. Uh, we, so we would have, let me use the amount that I have at the end, which is this $106, right? Minus the amount that I started with, which was $100. That was my principal. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, then divide that by my principal, started with $100, and then press enter. And so this is my APY, okay? So if I take my $100, and multiply it by my APY, right? I get the amount of interest that I was paid, okay? So generally, your principal times your APY will tell you the amount of money that you're gonna make in interest payments at the, um, w when you used compounding, okay? So remember, APY is just a rate of return when compounding has been used. And in the next video, I'll talk a little bit more in detail about how to calculate this formula or how to derive this formula.